So the other day I was talking about the possible accessibility and usability concerns of something like text overflow ellipsis where we're taking user content and we're hiding it from the user that entered it. And in a follow-up conversation that I had with a coworker, Jeremiah Lee, he recommended that a center aligned text ellipsis such as that used in the Mac OS Finder would actually provide the best user experience because we're still truncating the content but we're showing the the leading and then the trailing portions of a string which tend to be the most dynamic especially in a more repetitive kind of a situation. So I wanted to see if I could implement something like that using Flexbox and Angular and to showcase I have a couple of project names here and you can see some of them are rather long and as I resize what you'll see is that we're starting to get this ellipsis in the middle of the string middle in quotes because it's not obviously 50 percent but as I go down here you can see that these start to shrink and uh, this is being done with CSS Flexbox and I think is actually kind of elegant and actually works all the way back to IE 11. I feel like this is pretty good enough especially here you can see that as it gets really short we get kind of a halfway here between the, the leading and the trailing portions of the value. So let's take a quick look at how this works. Uh, so first here's my app component which is just setting up the demo. You can see here are the long project names that we're showcasing here in the browser and all I'm doing is looping over these project names and instead of rendering them directly in the page I'm rendering them inside this app smart shrink angular component and I'm just passing the project name as the text input binding. So let's take a look at how Smart Shrink is implemented. I wanted to keep this as simple as possible, which means that I didn't want to use a lot of JavaScript to say watch or observe changes in the DOM tree and then dynamically split the string as the dimensions of the DOM change. I want to just do like a one and done, keep it simple. So what I'm doing here is defining that text input and then all I have is a setter for that text input and anytime that value is set I'm going to grab 75 percent of that string put the first 75 percent in the left text and the right 25 percent in this right text and then inside my template which you can see is super simple I simply have one span for the left text and one span for the right text so what's going to happen is this smart string component host element is going to be my flexbox container and then these two things are going to be my flexbox items. And if we look at the CSS for this component, it's incredibly simple, right? The host is again the flexbox container. Then my left and right spans are the two children. And this just works by telling the left side to not grow but shrink. So the left side can shrink. The right side can grow but cannot shrink, which requires it to stay that visible size. And then the left side simply has the text overflow ellipsis. So as we are, let's actually, we can take a look at the elements here. Let's look at the, let's look at the last one because it's the longest. You can see here that here's my left span, which has, actually let me pull this up. So the left span, which is set to allow it to shrink right it's getting that ellipsis here right as I highlight you can see the ellipsis is at the end of that left flexbox item the right flexbox item which can grow but not shrink you can see remains that sort of fixed size starts with IFE right even as we are uh, even as we are shrinking the flexbox container and that's how this works and this works all the way back to IE 11 I tested in Chrome Firefox Safari and IE 11 um, desktop only I didn't test on mobile and uh, anyway, it's just a reminder to me of how awesome Flexbox is and how uh, powerful it is in creating simple solutions. Because again, if we look at this, I have an intermediary component which takes care of a little bit of math here to split the string of two. But other than that, the rest of this is just CSS, right? There's no dynamic JavaScript observing the DOM. There's no dynamic splitting of strings as the user interacts with the page. It's just that initial split and then Flexbox takes care of the rest of this, handling the uh, center, in quotes, alignment of the text overflow ellipsis. And to me, that's like a pretty good enough approach. It's not perfect, but it's certainly good enough, uh, I think, for, for most of the situations that I'll run into.